Hello, my name is Julia James and I'm a career clarity coach. And what that means is that I help you get clear on the career that's truly right for you. One of the important things is actually embracing and owning your weaknesses. And this might sound really weird, but it's true. The weaknesses are the things that you're just not good at. Usually they are things that actually make you feel weak, make you feel drained, bored, make you want to avoid those tasks. And just notice right now, what are some of the things that you do currently to hide your weaknesses? Because to some extent, when we're not quite comfortable with our weaknesses, most of us spend a lot of energy trying to hide them, trying to cover them up. What do you do? Do you work extra hours to get the job done, the things done that, that you're not all that good at? Do you say yes to everything, even though you know it's going to drain you? It's not going to be energizing for you? Do you avoid certain situations? Do you avoid going to a certain places just because that could reveal one of your weaknesses? What is it that you do to hide your weaknesses? Just notice how much energy that takes for you to keep hiding those weaknesses. The truth is that the more you begin to own your weaknesses and stand up, speak them out, like for me, it's like I'm not good at numbers, um, and standing up for that and being honest about that, you will be surprised that the more you respect and own your own weaknesses, that people will actually respect you for who you are rather than wanting you to change and wanting you to overcome weaknesses. It has to start with you owning your weaknesses and then others can also respect that.